G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So last week I posted a video about the top 10 reasons why I believe everybody should keep guppies. And I thought I'd do a bit of an update on how those guppies are doing. Some of you keen observers out there may have noticed that one of those guppies was showing early signs of fin rot. And you can watch that video right here. Now, in saying that, I want to point out the importance of quarantining your fish. So, it's very important, especially if you have a system set up like I do, where I have all these tanks running off this one sump. So I've got 20 tanks running off this sump. They're all connected to each other. Once you get, one fish gets sick, they all get sick. So it's very important for me to be able to quarantine a tank off from the system as I need. I do that by lowering the water level below the bulkhead, turning the tap off, the return tap that makes water flow into the tank, turn that tap off, lower the water below the bulkhead, and then that tank is out of the system. These tanks will run off bubble filters, fine, with the fish that are in there. So that's how I quarantine a tank. And you can see that this tank is quarantined off. Look how low the water level is. So that's the guppy tank. And as you can see, I've only got one guppy in there. Two weeks ago I had ten. So, it's very important that you quarantine fish. I was treating these fish with trisulfur. These tablets, that kill everything. They kill bacteria that is beneficial and deadly to your fish. However, they still didn't do a good enough job because I had lost nine guppies. I wish I realised it at the shop. That decision was based on a, just off a whim. I thought, these guppies are beautiful. I'd love to, you know, get into breeding them and experimenting with different colours and patterns and shapes and all that kind of stuff. So I bought them, but luckily I quarantined them. I could have lost everything in my fish room just because I bought some guppies. Can you imagine how devastated I'd be? Um, so just quarantine your fish, no matter where you get them from, especially if it's a fish shop. If you know the source, maybe it's a little bit better, you know where they're coming from, um, say it's a relative or um, a hobbyist that you know in the hobby. However, I'd still quarantine them. You don't know what those fish are bringing into your system. So I intended to quarantine those guppies for up to six weeks. Uh, however, I'm not going to introduce them into the system. I mean, there's only one left, but that, that's going to go into a separate tank now if, it's, if it survives. That was the guppy that showed the first signs of fin rot, and it's the only one that survived. The rest didn't show signs of fin rot and died during, me, during the process of me treating, treating them. So uh, I'm very, very lucky I didn't hook them into the system. Uh, another thing I want to do, I'm not going to quarantine any more fish in this system. Uh, the whole time I worked on that tank, I had to cover these tanks with towels just in case it splashed water out of that tank and into these tanks. So that's a thing I didn't consider when I was designing this system that that's a possibility and um, I don't want to take that risk anymore. Uh, this, 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 this process taught me uh, a lot and um, you know, obviously you can transfer disease through using the same net or having wet hands from that tank and putting those hands into another tank. Um, very easy to make that mistake. However, uh, I was being so cautious. They were the last fish I fed every day. Um, you know, whenever I worked on the tank, as I said, I'd cover the other tanks. I'd wear gloves in that tank. Um, anything I put into that tank, I would not use again unless I boiled it or um, dried it out. Or yeah, I basically threw everything away that I've used in that tank. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna recycle anything. I don't care. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna introduce this tank back into the system. I might. Uh, empty it completely out, dry it out for months, let it um, dry out, clean it really well, and then fill it up with water and introduce guppies that are my endless guppies that I know aren't sick in there and just see how they go for a couple of weeks to see if they show any signs of illness. But yeah, for now, that's, that tank is not going to be used, um, which is a real shame. So uh, I'm just, but again, I'm just glad that I quarantined them and didn't introduce them into the system straight away. So please learn from my um, almost stuff up and um, quarantine your fish because obviously you don't want to lose all your beloved fish just because you purchased some guppies on the wing. Anyway guys, I'm going to wrap this one up now. It's a quick one today. No edits, no cuts. There's bushfires in New South Wales. Um, I live in the bush. I'm packed and ready to go. Hopefully nothing happens. But 
Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be we're gonna be fine where we are. And um, but yeah, I just thought I'd post this video quickly now while I'm still here. And if I need to leave, I'll just leave. And obviously, I don't want to lose the fish or my house. Um, but I, th I think we're going to be okay today. Temperatures across New South Wales can reach. Uh, I think I think they're predicting uh, about 48 degrees. So this is Saturday, and uh, yeah, I'm, I just got to post this um, because I'm not going to get time. Uh, after today, after this now, or and I didn't have time during the week because basically I was cutting down trees with my neighbours and taking them into the tip. I've just been so busy, so flat chat this week. So apologies for the um, pretty crappy video, but it is an important lesson that I really hope you take on board whenever you buy fish from anyone else. All right, guys, I'll wrap this one up now. Thanks heaps for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.